Hello guys, so this week we are doing some inverted numbers. This position works really well with no gi and also with gi. So I'll show you the difference in between. Okay, we're doing here no gi today. Full guard, okay, well, wrist control over there, okay. And usually with gi, what I always tell you, go to cross collar, remember? Go to cross collar to attack, that's the best way to defend. As I cannot hold his, you know, his material over here, what I'm gonna try to do is to use my legs to bring him forward a little bit, any space here is good, to head control. So always have the head control instead of the lapel in there. Now my right hand, this hand is going to come inside here, look, inside, and I see my fingers going across there, I'll push the head and I'll lock my hands together. I build a triangle here, look, like a diamond in here with the frame. So with that frame, I'll keep his head away, and now it's time to open my guard. Now, the same side I control the arm, this side, I'll put that foot in the ground. That foot in the ground will help me to hip scape once, hip scape twice, to hide this foot, look, on his hip, to keep him away from me. As I'm doing that, okay, I'm gonna slide this arm all the way to my ear here. Look, slide, 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 boom, locked. Okay, and then I use my head to hook, and then we'll go elbow to elbow. Now, this foot, I don't let the hips hit. Now, at the same time, you're gonna come over, and then I'm gonna make like a sandwich of shoulder here, about Knee to knee, shoulder. Pinch my knee together, it's an unbar. So, same, same principle, apply pressure behind the joint here, just with my elbow to elbow, and that's the pressure they want. Okay, very, very big detail here, this foot. This foot has to be there, Okay, on the hip, because my opponent's defense is low motion here. If my foot is just lost in there, he's gonna walk forward. When he walks forward, then all the frame that created the front of him. So when I'm pushing him away, look, hip escape, look, my foot goes on the hip to stop him walking forward. And then I start stretching the arm, look, stretch down, look how the arm is going. Look, stretch, 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 and then the knee comes on top. And I keep turning this way, okay? The next position from here, if you look, now I'm gonna go for the umbar, okay? I invert the umbar, but then bend it down umbar. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep coming this way, coming this way, and sure I go look with my knee behind his head, look, and I go upside down here. Okay? So that's pretty much how I'm gonna be doing this position. Okay, with my foot, look at my foot here. My foot is just behind his head, poking the head, okay? And I'm, my head's not too far. If my head goes too far here, I lose the arm, and look, I feel very, very weak in this position. So my hand is as close as I can, and I hold the arm here. Then it's low as I slide up here, and I use my hip, look, my hip points down, and that's when I finish. Look, his thumb is pointing downwards, okay? It's inverted, remember? So that's the inverted number from here. If it's not working from here, what I can do? I can face his legs. Always from belly down, you always going to be facing his legs. So from here where I was before, let's say that my opponent is holding his hands together and defending, I'm trying to go here, and it's not working. Then what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my right hip on the ground, and I'm always facing his legs. So I'm always turning towards the leg. Look how my foot is behind the head here. That foot is really, really important to stay there. So try to look up, try to walk anywhere. Look, he can't really go anywhere because my foot is stopping him to walk. Okay? I can try to get the, the, the position from here. And finish him here, it still works. But usually what happens is my opponent is holding all his hands together and it's really hard to get the arm from here. So, my top hand, the hand closer to the ceiling, is gonna go there, look, behind the ankle. I'll hold the ankle and I'll bring his heel towards my head. Look. And then he is start rolling because he puts pressure on the joint, on his knee. So I, I carry on, I, I follow him here, I'll pass my leg over, and then I get to this position here. Then from here, just a normal bar, and happy days, and finish belly up on bar.